and Harry's engagement interview give an insight into their relationship. Harry and Meghan's engagement excitement is truly revealed in candid and funny footage never shown to millions in Britain and around the world last night. The couple, who will marry next spring, can be seen laughing and larking around in behind-the-scene shots not included in last night's final 21 minute first interview with the BBC. Around five minutes of unseen footage shows Harry and Meghan laughing, joking and chatting with each other. Interview a Michelle Hussain and other people off-screen. Unfortunately, the mix were turned off but the couple are shown laughing uproariously and apparently doing a little dance of happiness while sat on the sofa of their cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace yesterday. Meghan can be seen smiling and laughing at her fiancé who laughs back, giving a new insight into their obviously relaxed and loving relationship. In another charming image Meghan rests her chin on her fist while looking adoringly at her husband-to-be, who cannot help but smile. The 36-year-old actress revealed last night how she said yes immediately to Prince Harry after he proposed on one knee while they were cooking a chicken roast dinner during a cosy night in. Revealing the depths of his feeling for his bride-to-be the prince suggested they were destined to meet and fall in love with the royal believing the stars were aligned, everything was just perfect. He described how this beautiful woman just sort of literally tripped and fell into my life. I fell into her life and said she would have been best friends with his late mother Princess Diana. In their first joint interview, Miss Markle, 36, said she did not even wait for the 33-year-old royal to finish the sentence before she said, yes, and it was so sweet and natural and very romantic. The couple, who had been in Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace when the proposal happened, revealed that they first met on a blind date after being set up by a female friend and have tried to see each other every two weeks. Harry added, I fell in love with Meghan so incredibly quickly. All the stars were aligned. Everything was just perfect. It was this beautiful woman just sort of literally tripped and fell into my life. I fell into her life. Four weeks after they met, Harry persuaded Miss Markle to join him on a five-day break in Botswana. He said, we camped out with each other under the stars. Which was absolutely fantastic. The couple, who spoke to BBC presenter Michelle Hussain, said that Miss Markle has already met the Queen a couple of times, and the actress described the monarch as an incredible woman. It was also revealed that Prince Harry had sought the permission of both of Miss Markle's parents, but that he had not yet met her father Thomas, having only spoken to him on the phone. How they met they talked about their 16-month relationship and how they never went more than two weeks without seeing one another. Miss Markle said, I don't think that I would call it a whirlwind in terms of our relationship. Obviously there have been layers attached to how public it has become after we had a good five, six months, almost, with just privacy, which was amazing. But no, I think we were able to really have so much time just to connect and we never went longer than two weeks without seeing each other, even though we were obviously doing a long-distance relationship. So it's, we made it work. The pair said they were introduced by a mutual female friend in July 2016, but declined to reveal her name. Harry told up they camped out under the stars in Botswana a few weeks after they met when Harry persuaded Miss Markle to join him on holiday. Harry said, then it was I think about three, maybe four weeks later that I managed to persuade her to come and join me in Botswana. And we, we camped out with each other under the stars we spent, she came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. Miss Markle revealed how they took the time to be able to go on long country walks and just talk. Miss Markle has met the Queen a couple of times and described her as an incredible woman. The Proposal Speaking of the proposal, Harry said, it happened a few weeks ago, earlier this month, here at our cottage. Just a standard typical night for us. Miss Markle added, just a cosy night, it was what we were doing just roasting chicken and having. Harry said he was roasting a chicken, 
trying to roast a chicken. Miss Markle described it as just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. She added, as a matter of fact I could barely let you finish proposing, I said, can I say, yes now? The pair are to marry in a church wedding in the spring, next year. Harry revealed how they had books after their proposal and he handed over the ring. Prince Harry said, she didn't even let me finish, she said, can I say yes, can I say yes and then where was hugs and I had the ring in my finger and I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? She goes, oh yes the ring. So no it was, it was a really nice moment, it was just the two of us and I think managed to catch, catch her by surprise as well. The ring. Asked about the ring, Harry said, the ring is, is obviously yellow gold because that's what her favorite and the main stone itself I sourced from Botswana and the, the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewelry collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. Miss Markle added, it's beautiful, and he designed it, it's incredible. And Harry said, yeah, make sure it stays on that finger. Princess Diana asked what it meant to Miss Markle to have stones on her finger that once belonged to Princess Diana, she said, I think everything about Harry's thoughtfulness is, and the inclusion of that and obviously not being able to meet his mom, it's so important to meet her, to know that she's a part of this with us. And I think in being able to meet his aunts and, and also like Julia and just different people who are so important to his mom, I'm able to, in some way, know a part of her through them and of course, through him. And it's, it's incredibly special. And you know to be able to have this which sort of links where you come from and Botswana which is important to us and it's, it's perfect. Harry was then asked what he believed his mother would have thought of Miss Markle. He replied, oh they'd be thick as thieves without question, I think she would be over the moon, jumping up and down, you know so excited for me, but then, as I said, would have probably been best friends, best friends, with Meghan. So no it's, you know it is days like, days like today when, when I really miss having her around and miss being able to share the happy news. But you know with the ring and with everything else that's going on I'm sure, she's, Miss Markle then interjected, she's with us. And Harry said, I'm sure she's with us, yeah, you know, jumping up and down somewhere else. Queen and the Corgis. It was also disclosed that she had become a firm favorite with the Corgis. Describing being introduced to the Queen, Harry's grandmother, Miss Markle said, It's incredible, I think, you know, to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother. All of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her I had such a deep understanding and of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And we've had a really, she's, she's an incredible woman. Harry added, and the corgis took to you straight away. To which Miss Markle replied, that's true. Harry joked, I've spent the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in, absolutely nothing. Miss Markle, who has two dogs herself, said, just laying on my feet, during tea. It was very sweet. Harry added, just wagging tails, and I was just like, uh. William and Kate. Miss Markle said the Duchess of Cambridge had been wonderful to her, while Harry said both William and Kate had been amazing. Harry talked about how he kept the relationship secret before introducing Miss Markle to his brother and sister-in-law. It was exciting, I mean I've, you know, I'd been seeing her for a period of time when I literally didn't tell anybody at all. And then William was longing to meet her and so was Catherine, so you know, being our neighbours, we managed to get that in a couple of, well, quite a few times now, and Catherine has been absolutely amazing, as has William, as well, you know, fantastic support. Miss Markle said of Kate, she's been wonderful. Harry spoke of the support his family had given him. 
the family together have been absolutely, you know, a solid support, and my grandparents as well have been, have been wonderful throughout this whole process, and they've known for quite some time, he said. Harry, 33, and Miss Markle, 36, appeared at a photo call at Kensington Palace in London this afternoon and their royal wedding will take place next spring. Fifth in line to the throne Harry has been dating the American actress who found fame in the US legal drama suits since the summer of last year. Their 16-month whirlwind romance blossomed when they met through mutual friends in London and the pair have been almost inseparable in recent months. The couple will live together in Harry's current home, Nottingham Cottage at Kensington Palace, and Miss Markle will become an H.R.H. and a senior royal. She is expected to become a duchess, just like Kate Middleton did when she became the Duchess of Cambridge after saying her vows in 2011. Miss Markle will most probably become H.R.H. the Duchess of Sussex if Harry is made the Duke of Sussex by the Queen on the morning of his wedding. The pair were secretly engaged earlier this month and Harry took Miss Markle to meet his grandmother the Queen Fertie at Buckingham Palace in October. Miss Markle is a divorcee. In 2011 she would film producer Trevor Engelson after dating him for six years but the pair split amicably less than two years later. Harry and Miss Markle made their first official public appearance together at the Invictus Games in Toronto, where the star is based, in September. At the closing ceremony a few days later, the prince was spotted kissing his girlfriend on the cheek as they watched the show from the VIP box.